Hello everyone and welcome by the Orchid Saga. So yeah, today I have a sort of a requested video because uh, Gabriella Carson, I hope I pronounced your name right, did ask me a question um, on my uh, Carcolab video about the Van and Dan Soniana. And he asked about the stakes that I used and how I did attach them to the glass faces. Well, this is actually an old setup. So I used just a, a, regular, a regular stake um, and I used some uh, transparent tape just to uh, hold it into place. And for the smaller uh, vendors, it works. Uh, yeah, it works, uh, kind of works. It doesn't look very pretty, but it works. <laughs> so that was the first goal. But then um, for these guys, uh, it doesn't work as well because the stakes and, and the tape aren't strong enough because these guys are getting very big and thereby very heavy. And especially uh, because I water them once a week, I need to take them from the shelf, empty the vases and put them back. A lot of movement there and the stakes and the tape uh, doesn't stick uh, quite well. So I thought, well, I need a change because this is going, not going to work. So I came up with... Um, this new setup, uh, this is a knitting uh, tool that I like to use. I use it also for my cell watering uh, setup if I want a flower steak because this is coated. And, but I thought, well, there is glue for glass. So what, uh, just uh, try uh, that glue on the glass and just basically drown this steak in it and let it dry and hopefully that will be strong enough. So I had a look at the, uh, the glue and uh, I found a transparent one. It's still not very pretty, but uh, it works. It works absolutely fine. You will, when I demonstrate it the day after, I will uh, have it, uh, give it a rest, of course, and then you will see me uh, lifting the face by only holding this stake. So that will be uh, uh, later in this video as well. So I thought it was a very nice question and it turned to be, turned to be that I al already pre-filmed this one. I didn't remember. I ha already had it ready. So I was uh, getting ready for editing and uh, getting some ideas what I would uh, film and how to would, uh, talk about this and etc. And I found the footage of this again. So it's uh, very suited for this uh, request video. And actually I used this plant in the uh, video as well. And the funny thing is this is already a new spike. You may want to look at the spike. The spike that is in a video later on is it more black. Um, but this is already a new one. So yeah, this one can spike quite quickly and one after the other. And you will see that these buds are nice and green. So this fan is absolutely doing better. So that's just something I want to know because it's a little bit strange. You may have seen my... Uh, spring cleaning video where I just have a different setup. This will be in an old setup because it's pre-filmed. So uh, let's get over to the footage and I will demonstrate you how I made this steak for my vendors. So now let's go over the materials that I use for this project. First of all I have glue and this is especially for glass, for glass things to glue on and it should be working with all kinds of different uh, materials. So uh, that brings me to the second material that I have. This is a knitting uh, needle. And I talked about it uh, previously, but this is the, these are the cheaper versions and those are hollow inside. I should uh, yeah, make it a little bit wider, but I can do that later on. And then I can put in here a, a wooden stick, as we normally see, especially on the family offices when you buy them in. Those wooden sticks, they, those fit in here. So if you want to extend it, for example, um, but not get it wet, this, these are very uh, very helpful. And normally I use them in self-watering because this is coated and then I can, if I want, stake a flower spike. These days I do it not often anymore because I like to have them hang over, to have them bend it the flower spikes, but it's just a little tip there. So that's my knitting uh, needle. And obviously we have the glass vases, the glass face. And um, I'm going to clean this and then I uh, will come back and I will have a different setup. I will try to make it easy for you guys uh, to, to look at the, this part of the vase so we can see what's happening there. Oh, and before I forget, I have a bit of tape hanging here. That is uh, to keep it into place because obviously the glue has to dry so I thought I need something to keep it in place because I want this stuck to the glass like this. 
so I need something that holds it in place while the uh, glue is drying. So that's our uh, materials. Now I'm going to clean this up. I want to have it as clean as uh, possible so the glue can attach very strongly I hope to the glass and uh, keep my uh, stick at the place so I can use it for my uh, sometimes very heavy vendors. So let's try uh, to uh, put some glue on. I think you can now better see what, uh, what is going to about to happen here. Um, but I've never done this before, obviously. So um, I don't know how this will turn out, but we have to try, right? So uh, let's try to get this uh, cap off. It should be uh, very easy. Yes, there it is. So this is the uh, point that I have. And yeah, I need to hold this to the side of the pot like this, I think. Then I can put a layer of glue in and then I can turn this into the glue and probably go from there. So yeah, let's try to get that uh, glue out. And I see some glue coming already. Here you can see it. There's the glue coming. So yes, bear with me if this <laughs> goes right. But I, yeah, almost, 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 almost. And there, yes, there it is. So let's put it on there. So, whoops, I just was, I was about to say so far so good, but uh, we can come back, I will do a quite a thick layer, all the way around, something like that, I think, I'll put this to the side, I have a piece of paper underneath it. So it uh, can drip on the paper. And now I have to put this one in position. Like this. So far, so good. And now I want to cover this with quite a lot of glue, just to be sure. To have uh, some extra glue on it. I probably will be in screen a little bit, I'm sorry. But I have to see what I'm doing here. So I will, uh, Cover this up like this. And go to this side. It's a bit easier for me to see it from this uh, angle. And before anyone <laughs> going to comment, yes, I did try hot glue. It uh, does remind me of hot glue in a certain way, but it didn't work well. So therefore I uh, chose this stuff. I did get it in a hardware store. So I hope this will, uh, this will work. Obviously. So I'm going to cover it up and I will put on a glove and try to uh, put it a little bit more into place the glue as long as it uh, is still wet so let's try this quickly where is that handle so I'm, I should have done wear this glove already but I did forget to put it on so now I'm going to try if I can put it cover all of this uh, this steak with that glue so when it dries it gets it uh, starts to get one complete mass of glue to make it stronger and give it hopefully the ability to hold the fenda and staying stick to the glass of course Let's 
It doesn't have to be pretty, but it needs to be functional. But I must admit, if this works, I like this a bit better than the tape. It obviously annoys me a little bit. So yeah, I have no idea. But we will find out pretty soon, I think. Like that. Let's have a look at this size. Yeah, this is it for now. I uh, I think so far so good. Let me uh, zoom in a little bit more. I'm going to get rid of the glue. Uh, yeah, the glue and the glove like this. And let me zoom in a little bit for you guys, so you can have a close look at what we just did. So yeah, it may not be that pretty. But, I, like I said, I like it more than a, a, a whole lot of tape on that glass. So yeah, let's. Uh, this needs to dry for 24 hours, I believe. So I will uh, come back to it uh, tomorrow. And we will have a look again and we will test it if it, uh, get, it gets very strong. So fingers crossed and <laughs> we will see uh, tomorrow again. So it has been uh, drying for at least 24 hours. I believe it's around 26. Um, it's still looking wet uh, to me, but I think it will be dry. I'm just gonna try and test it. And yes, this is dry. Luckily. <laughs> yeah, this is dry. And I can now have it uh, like this, standing on the table. I'm a little bit afraid to... Uh, I'm not hoping to break it off, but I need to check it, of course. Yeah, and I think this is... Uh, really really glued very well to that glass face i'm a bit afraid you guys i'm so i would be so disappointed to to break it off but on the other hand it will uh, need to support a van now so it needs to be strong okay here we go i'm going to pull it and let's see if it uh, holds it i'm really scared that <laughs> it will fall off but i need to check it and Yes, I can uh, pull it, as you can see, from the table. Oh. I'm almost, af I'm almost af I'm afraid to drop it, like I said, but uh, yeah, this is really uh, holding it together and way better than the tape. And I think it does look better than tape. It's not a beautiful, beautiful, most beautiful thing that I uh, ever saw out of anything, but um, it does the job. And it was the most important thing for me. Well, I, at least I think it does the job. And it's easy now to clean, and I can have my vendors attached to the to the stake here now. So uh, yeah, this is what we need to do now. We need now need a venda, and uh, then this is probably going to be my uh, next setup, or my newest setup uh, for my vendors. Back to the glazed faces, but a different approach uh, uh, about the uh, stakes. I think uh, this is better. This will hold it into this place. So I will uh, grab a venda and uh, we will uh, put it in this new phase. So I have here my uh, white angel. And this one, as you can see, is attached. I used the tape and a wooden stick or stake. And that's uh, fine, but the tape and I have a piece of wire to keep it into place. It's not that stable, so I hope it will enjoy the new setup a bit more. We have some blooms, but they are still uh, suffering from my uh, experience with uh, growing them in, uh, in the clay pots. But um, this one should be fine. It's a very nice one. But I see that I do have aphids. On the blooms as well so I need to deal with that also but I will do that later first we need to give it as a new home and I think because the root system is not that long that we can use this uh, 
this um, vase for this beautiful orchid and I just watered it today so the roots should be a little bit more flexible let me try to get them in and there we go try to take my time for these kinds of jobs because I don't want to break any roots of course because we need them um, yeah I need to pull it back and I want to have it to go through uh, these two roots I need to uh, have the stake go in between them so uh, yeah because then I can better attach it to the stake itself so the venda I mean of course <laughs> go so far so good I believe yeah and this one has a cakey as well I will show it to you guys in a minute but uh, that one has now room to grow as well because I want to keep that obviously and um, yeah I'm going to put it like this to the stake Check this. No. I need that leaf out of the way like that, <laughs> and it should be fine. And now I'm wiring it onto that new stake that we did. And look at that. I will move the camera a little bit. So yeah. This is way better. It's way easier. The van is not going in, in all kinds of directions because the tape cannot hold it. This is really holding well. So I'm really, really, really happy with this. <laughs> and the roots are now in the pot and they aren't that deep anymore. I need to, uh, I had to cut, cut off quite a bit so I didn't need a uh, very uh, deep face, but just uh, enough room to get an orchid in, which, uh, which we just did. And yeah, this should be uh, be fine. Let me zoom in a little bit so you can see the roots in a pot a little bit better. As you can see, we have some darker roots, but they are still firm. So I think they will uh, start to branch uh, fairly quickly. But this is uh, the setup, and here you can see the keiki is there. So that one has uh, room to grow next to the mother plant as well in this uh, this direction and all the new roots I hope they will find their way into the vase and I can really uh, hydrate it again so it can uh, get be moist as it should be so uh, yeah that is it for uh, for uh, so far uh, about the vases I think uh, this is a beautiful new setup which I can work with so yeah, that was a little bit funny because it's almost we uh, did go get a little bit back in time. But I think uh, I did, uh, did film it uh, hopefully uh, closely enough so you had a, a look. It's not very difficult to do. Um, but yeah, you, this might be a, uh, a solution if you want to grow your uh, vendors in glass faces. Once again, it's not very pretty maybe but it works and I now have the Vanda facing like this so I can enjoy the blooms but the root system is on the other side and roots do not like to grow into the light so if this done spiking I will turn it around and that's why the spike is facing this way because it was leaning of growing towards the light but uh, yeah, then I don't see this as much. That's basically what I'm trying to say. <laughs> so yeah, that's, uh, that's it. Um, but yeah, thank you for the question. I really enjoyed uh, making this video. So if, uh, if you guys have more questions, please let me know. And I probably uh, want to make some video out of it. I also have a sort of little Q&A coming up with some different questions that are maybe not uh, needed for one video so I will put them in, in uh, together in one video if you know what I mean but uh, yeah ask away I really enjoy it and uh, and I like to share as much information as I can so I hope this was useful please give it a thumbs up if you uh, think uh, think so and uh, for now I really hope to see you at one of my next uh, videos 
Bye bye.